anime with great story, awesome setting, and amazing characters. Only one season. Womp womp. If this isn't the most universal pain every anime lover has experienced, then I, I don't know what is. I'm looking at you, No Game No Life, Ao Haru Ride, and pretty much any anime you loved, but just know it's not popular enough to get a second season. Hey guys, I'm an anime enjoyer like every single person in this audience, and if that doesn't include you, just know I hate you and I would like you to unsubscribe immediately. Just kidding though, please stick around and uh, don't forget to check out the comments. Somebody needs to make fun of the weebs down there, and if there aren't any comments, you can't laugh at me though. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, uh, there's gonna be a card at the end showing you more of my amazing content. So let's get to some anime pain, shall we? Well, this one gets me. This one gets me every single time. Let's forget the strange anime for a second. I, I don't even know what anime that is. Please tell me. It looks it looks amazing, and I would love to watch it. That aside, though, you guys you guys probably know the feeling. You're trying to watch a regular, completely normal anime about some cute lesbian dragons, right? Then you got scenes like 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 this, and and don't even get me started on this character, cause. I swear, if you're watching Kobayashi Chino Made the Dragon and this girl pops on your screen, you better lock your doors, cause this character design is enough to have your family looking at you very funny. And then she starts doing stuff like 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 this. Friend, so how different are your tastes? My tastes. I swear, this is your typical anime veteran right here. On the one hand, you've got one of the most wholesome shows imaginable. On the other, you've got an anime that will put you on a watch list, and for good reason too. Because if this is not the vilest anime, okay, okay, maybe that's a little too mean. If you did enjoy a redo of the healer though, honestly, report yourself to the police immediately. Just kidding. I may or may not have seen this entire anime. It wasn't on Crunchyroll though. <laughs> what the f do these girls see in this mother? Speaking of anime veterans, you're not a real fan unless you've gotten right proper pissed watching the most plain ass protag imaginable, the personification of white bread without sugar, get himself a harem of bad bitches. These are the kind of anime that gets some of the nerdiest dudes thinking all they gotta do is smile and wave to get the girls chomping at their bits. The dude in question though is a, is a, is a much younger me. Except for the nerd part. Yeah, that's very cool. You believe me, right? Yeah, you believe me. That being said, I, I do kind of I do kind of like Kazuya though. I'm sure at this point somebody's thought of at least one mean thing to say to me in the comments. You know what? Let it rip. Hurt my feelings. After all, nobody's meaner to an anime fan than a fellow anime enjoyer. Allow me to demonstrate. Fucking weeb. Weeb. Weep. This one's targeted to the My Hero Academia fans and the sins they've committed. That's right, you can be a very normal, well-adjusted anime fan, but the moment you admit online that you're an MHA fan, some people are gonna treat you like you're the very person who held Hideyuki's hand and helped him draw the manga. Well, in reality, they should be blaming you for this. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, MHA fans aren't the only ones that have turned their MCs into the natural conclusion of their character arcs. Somebody did it to Tanjiro too. And why on earth does a picture of my man with the fattest, thickest, juiciest ass known to man, I will never know. But I'd rather see that than another meme or picture of pregnant Deku walking hand in hand with Bakugo. The thought that Bakugo bullied him so hard, and by bullying, I of course mean demolishing his back so hard that he, well, he obviously had no choice but to get pregnant, right? 
<laughs> the very thought of it makes me sick. And that's specifically because I hate this little shit. Give me pregnant Deku with Todoroki instead. Oh, but don't get it twisted. Regular non-weeb folk can absolutely tear you to shreds too. Especially if you're pulling stuff like this in public. Bro forgot to change wallpaper before presentation. Sigh. How did my mans forget? You know what? I choose to believe he did this as an informed screw you to society. You can't tell me what to put on my desktop. But even still, as a fellow haver of an animated couple on my desktop, even I have limits. You just, you just know the roast this guy faced must have been on the barbie. That, that means barbecue, right? I need to script these better. Let me just show you an example of what these roasts look like. I think it's, it's perfectly encapsulated in this immaculate tweet right here. Mother who gatekeep anime be like, name five characters in the show. <laughs> like bro, name five friends in your life. Mm, 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 mm. What can I even say at this point? Uh, don't gatekeep anime? I've got nothing to say about the second part though. Uh, go outside? LOL. <laughs> hey, who knows? Maybe all you have to do is actually just go touch some grass and you'll have a whole squad of friends. Don't believe me? Go watch any harem anime ever. After all, anime is incredibly realistic and a perfect simulation of real life. I mean, we wouldn't have people making memes like this if that wasn't the case. 2D, 3D. <sighs> well, shit. Ignore all of my previous sarcasm. If this is a legit difficult decision for you, I think it might actually be time for you to actually go and touch that grass. Or, you know, wait for some SAO level super virtual reality console to come out. And then you can touch grass in there. I know that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, I'm gonna end it with the most relatable one yet. At least, at least relatable for me. And you know what? Make of that what you will. I just know I'm not alone on this one. This isn't funny anymore. I'm sure I never found this funny. Hey, if you enjoy the memes, you're gonna see one of the cards that I mentioned earlier. Click it and be transported to an even more amazing video. I dare ya.